Yo, what is up, YouTube? I go by Q if you didn't already know, and I'm back here again with another video for you guys. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because more than half you aren't even subscribed right now. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram or any social medias, my at is OKQ. And if you guys want to use any of the kits that you see in this video, check the description. I got all my kits on either Drumify or my own beat stars. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so for this video, I think I got something pretty cool for you guys. I'm gonna do something personally I've never done. I'm gonna make a drill beat. So we're gonna go over how to make the melody, how to get that drill beat bounced, and everything in between. I'm gonna kind of do this in like a beginner style. So you guys that really don't know how to make beats at all, I'm gonna show you guys the secret stuff. All right, so I got FL pulled up right now. And what I always notice with drill beats, especially with your more generic drill beats, you're gonna notice that the BPM usually falls in a range from like 135 to 160 more so in the 140 to 150 range. I'm gonna bring my BPM up to 145, and then we're gonna go into Omnisphere. I'm gonna bring up a piano, but you guys can use really anything, like literally FL keys, because we're gonna be doing something super simple and just reversing it so it sounds super, super drill beat-like. I'm just gonna be using this library in Omnisphere called Keyscape. I'm gonna be using this one called the Grand Piano. What I'm gonna do here is go into the piano roll. If you pull down this menu right here, go to the helpers, scale highlighting. So drill beats really want that like, Kind of like dark and eerie sounding so what i'm gonna do is go to the harmonic minor and i'm gonna set mine to c sharp but realistically you could use any key i'm gonna lay down something super simple here and super repetitive but you'll see what we do next after this that'll make it sound really cool Thing I notice a lot with these chord progressions in drill beats, the root note will usually go down by one semitone. And you'll get something that sounds like this. I'm gonna bring that down an octave and duplicate it over by hitting Control B. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is just because this kind of sounds a little too muddy for what I want, I'm gonna bring it up a few semitones. Let's see if E. Sounds good. Maybe up one more. Yeah, so I like that. So what I'm gonna do is go to scale highlighting and change it to F minor harmonic, just cause that's the key we're in now. And then now what we're gonna do is first things first, I'm gonna go to the tools and we're gonna go to this tool called flip. And we wanna, uh, we wanna flip it horizontally. So what this is doing is just taking the chord progression and flipping it around. Because what we're going to do next is bring this into playlist. I'm going to duplicate it twice. And then I'm going to right click on the pattern and go quick render as audio clip. Now we have this and I'm just going to cut this second part. And then what I'm going to do is click reverse then duplicate that over twice. And this is what we got now. So as you can see, it's already getting super like eerie feeling. So I'm going to bring this to mixer track number one, and we're going to add the little tricks to right here, RC retro color. I'm going to bring the wobble up just a tad bit, bring the noise down a little bit, and I'm going to tighten up this cut to make it just a lot more like, sounds like it's coming out of phone kind of. Also going to add a little bit of space. Let's see what we got right now. Cool, so I like what we have right now. So what I'm gonna do is make a new pattern, bring it, bring it into the playlist. We're gonna only make it four bars just cause we're gonna keep it kind of repetitive. But what I'm gonna do here is literally open FL keys. We're gonna get a little pattern going. All you gotta do for this is since we're in F minor, chord progression is still F minor. All we gotta do is make sure we put no notes in the black keys. So I like this, it sounds super generic, so just trust me on this. So we're gonna bring it to the pattern, we're gonna bring it to the mixture track. And first thing I'm gonna do is just add some reverb. 
make it sound a little better. I'm going to be using a plugin called GHZ Megaverb, but you could literally use the Fruity Reverb. Just bring the decay down a tad bit. Do want it pretty long and then the dry one. And I'm going to add RC Retro Color on this as well. Take off the noise. And I'm going to bring this wobble up a decent amount. I'm going to add an EQ. We're going to take it a lot of the high end. And then for some variety here, what we could do is add a gross beat and make it half speed just by bringing this line down and going by clicking on that little dot and making it single curve. So now what we're gonna do is go to the playlist. I'm gonna make another new pattern. And this plus button. And I'm gonna drag it into the playlist and now we're gonna start doing the drums. I'm gonna make the drums an eight bar loop just so we can have a little bit of variation. And first thing I'm gonna look for is just a cool snare that sounds pretty hard and dark. So the snare bounce on drill beats, it's a little weird. You can do your typical snare bounce, just the snare right here. But usually what you notice is in drill beats, the second snare will go right here, this one as well. I'm actually going to have this last one in its normal spot as well. You really can't notice anything yet, but first thing I'm going to do before we get to the hi-hat, which will really separate it into its drill beat genre, I'm going to bring the snare down a few semitones and make it a little more dark. We're going to duplicate it over for eight. So now I'm going to find a hi-hat. So the hi-hat pattern is the part that really makes it unique, and it's just this. It's super simple. Pretty much this, and then it just repeats itself. As you can see, you're not you're getting that drill beat bounce now. I'm gonna tighten up the snare a little bit. Bounce on the high head. As you can see, we got that drill bounce pretty much already, but there's a lot more you could do to it. So, second thing I'm gonna do is look for another hi hat. I like this one, but I'm gonna bring this out. I got this second hi hat right here, which is just a little bit brighter. And what you could do is just Kind of like have overlapping notes on the other hi-hat, but what we're going to do is pan and just mess with the velocity. And like I said, we're going for something pretty repetitive here, so I'm going to duplicate that over four times. So now next thing you do is pretty much just up to you. At this point, you can pretty much do whatever you want and it's gonna sound like a drill beat. Next thing I'm gonna work on is just some open hats. something with drill beats is you just want something really loud so and in order to protect from clipping just put a soft clip around your master this will make it sound super good pretty much no matter how loud you turn it up so i'm gonna go to my drum kit and i'm gonna get this kick called nuke we are drag it in and just make a super simple pattern turn that up even a little more like that, just do it that twice. So for the 808, I know this is something that people find like super complicated and just like the main part of a drill beat. 
realistically, it's not that complicated. All you want is an 808 that sounds kind of like pretty distorted. I mean, you could almost use a spins 808 and just put some distortion on it. But the thing is, they do a lot of 808 rolls. So this is why you want something that's either su a super long 808, like with a big tail, or you want something that just has loop points. So I'll show you what I mean. So this 808 right here, I'm going to drag it in, show you guys what I mean. As you can see, it has these loop points. So if you hold the note down, it'll play forever. Basically, once it gets to this point in the loop, it just repeats itself and it sounds super smooth. So I'll show you what I mean. Go on forever. Now we're going to go in and make a pattern. So you want to do something super simple with these and you leave a lot of room for the artist. So first thing I'm going to do is go into this envelope settings and bring the attack all the way down, hold all the way up, everything else all the way down. This will make it so the 808 will only play for as long as the note is held. Now we're going to the piano roll, and I know that the root note for this chord progression that we just made is F and then E. I'm also going to turn this 808 up because I want it pretty loud. But what I'm going to do here is just have this 808 stop right when the snare hits. And you'll notice it'll give the 808 like a lot of room and like this, this free space for the artist. <laughs> So this is a pattern I'm going for, and now I'm going to show you guys some cool like rolls you could do. So to do 808 slides, there's about two ways you could do this. Put a note in here, double click it, and click this little icon. It means it'll slide. Or you could hit S on your keyboard, and any note you lay down from now on will be slide 808. Now let me show you guys how you use these. So you zoom in and look at these two 808s. This is your normal 808 when you play it, normal note and everything. And then if you put a slide on top of it, what it means is... As long as this note is, this slide note, it can only be as long as the bottom note, but it could also be shorter. So for example, say it's this long, the note will take this amount of time to slide from F to A sharp, or vice versa, you could do F to a note lower. So here, I'll show you guys how it sounds when I play it. I'll solo it out so you could hear it. So you could hear it sliding way down, or up here, way up. And it's over that whole note. For example, though, you can make it half is short and it sounds like this <clears throat> and also once it gets to the end of this note it'll stay playing for example if we make this way long it'll stay all the way up there so at this point you know how to make the slides so i'm gonna go ahead and just try and find a slide that sounds cool So I like how this pattern sounds, but I don't want it to be too repetitive for so for the second eight bars I'm gonna just take these slides completely out see if we can find a cool little pattern at the end. Oh yeah, so that is pretty much the whole beat now you just need one of those New Yorkers to hop on that shit But before we end this I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna open up arcade we're gonna see if we can just do some cool vocal chops because you notice this on a decent amount of drill beats. I'm gonna go to these lines right here. And we're gonna go for either like distance voices, also hooked, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Is that F note that I'm playing is a little off, so I'm gonna go find. And this is perfect, so I'm gonna split this mixing track, bring arcade in, and let's arrange this a little bit. Snare. 
Right here at the end, we're just gonna let everything drop out for a second. Everything drop. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. You already know I'm gonna play that beat after for you guys. If you guys enjoyed or learned anything from this video at all, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Drop a comment, let me know what you think and what you wanna see next. Also, if you wanna keep in contact with me at all, go ahead and follow me on any social media, mainly Instagram though. My at is OKQ. And of course, any of the kits you saw me use in this video will be in the description below. I have my links for that all the time. And it'd be super helpful if you guys could support the channel because that means a lot to me. But other than that, I'll have to see you guys in the next video. So peace out.